Hey, what's happening, everybody? And welcome back to Scents of South Jersey with me, Kellen, for another fragrance review. Today, we're gonna be looking at a fragrance from the 70s. The 70s being a decade that brought us many greats, such as Paco Rabanne Pour Homme, Bogart Signature. As you all know, especially if you are subscribed to the channel and have been watching for a while, those are some of my favorite classic men's fougere fragrances. This one, however, I did review it a while ago, but I wanted to redo it, kind of give you my up-to-date take on this fragrance from the 70s, from 1978, also an aromatic fougere, but very slept on, seldom spoken about. And this is the fragrance from the house of Orlain, and it is called Derek. So what we'll do in this fragrance video, as we always do in all of my individual reviews, is break down the fragrance into five parts. First, we're gonna take a look at the box and bottle presentation, and I got a couple presentations I can show you with this fragrance. Then we'll talk about its notes. I'll pick out the ones that I think I can detect. For the, you know, for the most part. Talk about its performance based on my experience wearing the fragrance, give it my overall thoughts, and then of course my overall ratings. And if you guys have not subscribed yet, make sure to do so. We are so close to 10,000, a huge milestone for my channel. Not the biggest channel in the game, not that important to me, but 10K is an excellent and awesome, exciting milestone for me, as I just mentioned. So again, I can't uh, thank you all enough who have all supported and watched over the years, it means a lot. And if you have an Instagram and you wanna check out my Instagram account at Sense of South Jersey, just go ahead and follow. I do Sense of the Day posts on the um, page. Haven't done as many recently, been very busy. It's why I haven't made a video in the past, I would say about two weeks. Um, and also, you know, I do news and updates on the channel and there are photos of fragrances from my collection. Also, if you are interested in purchasing fragrances directly from my collection. This is not affiliated with any website or anything. It's stuff that I'm selling because I'm no longer wearing it. I'd rather have other people enjoy it. The link to my Mercari page is gonna be in the description below, so go ahead and check that out. Message me, make me an offer, whatever you'd like to do. So let's not waste any more time and let's take a look at Derek. Okay, first things first, let's take a look at the presentation. So let's look at the box here. Um, again, this is from the house of Orlane. It's gonna be shiny on that selfie ring light, guys. So it says Derek across there. Um, you know, looks like sort of a brown, gold brown coloring. Eau de Toilette, that's the concentration. And it is a spray bottle here. It is a 100 ml. So on the back, you have some brand information there. Um, let's see that Orlane on the top. Now I have another one, another Eau de Toilette. As you can see, the boxes from like exactly the same thing here, this one's a little bit bigger and this one's a little thicker, a little taller, a little thicker, and the back isn't exactly the same. Um, so, you know, there's a little bit, bit difference in information. You know, the lettering goes down further here. The bottles look the same, but maybe I can't tell which one is older or which one is newer, but let's take a look at the bottle. In my original review, I always said this looked like a military fuel can from like, say, like the World War II or Korea era, Korean War era. You can see that cross there. Um, that's how much juice I got left in this one. Cap is cheap, but it does click into place. And see, that just looks like a canister. Here is the distribution. I already have some on my hand. Let's spray some more. Pretty good spray. We'll take a look at the other bottle just to make sure it's pretty much the same. Even though, again, there's some differences in the boxes. This one is pretty much full. I just got this one recently because of how much I enjoy this one. Um, here, same same thing. You know, you can see on the top, it says Derek right there. Other cap says the same. And on the bottom, here are the bottoms. So you can see here the bottles. Take a look. So pretty much the same thing. A little bit differences you can see. Batch codes and so forth too. So um, this is an aftershave, smaller bottle, smaller box. Same amount, 100 ml, but it is just smaller. This one, I believe, is the oldest. Look, nothing on the back, but Orlane on the bottom. There's your reference number. This is a splash, obviously, because it's an aftershave. And you can see this is probably the oldest, but it's in absolute perfect condition. And Derek is up top there. So pretty cool presentation for Derek by Orlane. Okay, so let's list the notes for Derek, again, by the House of Orlane from 1978. In the top, we have lavender, rosemary, thyme, and tarragon. Now, again, this is an aromatic fougere, so you're going to see some of those familiar notes in the middle or the base of the fragrance. You have pepper, patchouli, nutmeg, cedar, caraway, pine tree, geranium, and jasmine. And then in the base, you have white musk, incense, labdanum, and coumarin. So... This is a little bit different in terms of the smell, and I'll get into that later, what it reminds me of and, and how it differs. But the notes that I pick up on are definitely the lavender, rosemary. There's some, you know, of those kind of green notes to it. 
Pepper absolutely is a note in there. I think the caraway and the pine tree. Caraway usually has a little slightly sweet tinge to it from the fragrances that I've seen it in or seen the note in and experienced there. It always have a little bit of sweetness, but it's not like a bubblegum sweetness. It's definitely a classic style. And then I definitely get some of the incense and some of that musk in the fragrance as well too. The other notes are there. Obviously I can't pick them out. Not a, not a big expert, just a guy who reviews on YouTube, but those are the notes for Derek. Okay, so the performance for Derek by Orlain. Very good, no complaints, easily an eight hour scent last on clothing you know the, the typical things this this last it projects i think people notice it i've gotten compliments on it from the people i've worn it around obviously that being like my family and my girlfriend you know um i have worn this for a while this one and then i put it away and obviously that was several years ago i think i got this one in maybe god 2020 i believe and then I broke it out again and I put a, a much bigger dent in it. And it still feels like the performance is there. It does last that long. Um, so there's no complaints when it comes to that. And, and it, you know, skin, but definitely longer on clothing as well. Okay, so it's time for my overall thoughts on Derek by Orlane. This is definitely such an underrated under, underrated and under the radar fragrance. Again, I don't really hear much about it. I was told about it a while ago. I, I checked it out. Um, and it's such a distinct smell. And it's a little bit of a different take on what the normal fougere style was back in the 70s. Again, it reminds me of like a darker, a richer Bogart signature. It's less green, less on the barbershop style, more on the deeper sort of, you know, evening wear. I definitely think this is a mature scent, as most of the fragrances on my channel are. And not that Paco Rabanne and Bogart Signature aren't mature, they definitely are. But this one is just a little bit darker, that incense, some of those other spices in there that aren't as green, like the coumarin, and it does have the jasmine in it as well too. So, so maybe, and again, I'm only speculating, that's what gives it its sort of hint. It has a mossiness to it as well, but oak moss is not a note. But it's definitely a scent that will stand out, get you noticed for sure, because it is a stronger fragrance. And it smells so good, it's very classy. I associate it with the evening. Like I would wear this going out on an evening, going out to dinner, you wanna wear something nice. I believe it was inexpensive. Now it's starting to get a little bit harder to find. So now you're gonna be paying around 50, 60 bucks if you see it online, depending on who you're getting it from. Um, you wouldn't really have to worry about this turning, I don't think, because there's not a heavy citrus notes to it. There's a lot of stuff that usually lasts, which is a good thing. Now, there are other flankers to this. Haven't tried any of them. From what I've read, they're really new and a lot more modern, but this one is, is an absolute classic. Really nice. Um, I think seasonal-wise, it's gonna be great for the upcoming three seasons, fall, winter, and spring. However, you can wear it all year round. I've been wearing it in the summer. but. I think it best fitting in those seasons if that's something that you care about or you're season conscious. I think that's where it would work best. Um, it's definitely a unique scent, like I had mentioned, and it's one that I think will set apart from the other fougeres. It, it, it goes its own way because a lot of those classics, if you just want to be general about it, sort of are all similar, slight differences. They're all awesome in their own way, but this one is very unique, and I think that's what makes it special. All right, it's time to give my overall ratings for Derek by Orlane. Presentation-wise, it's unique. Like I mentioned, the, the oil canister, I think it's cool. I don't know why I believe that this one should have a built-in sprayer. I think it would be better with that. Um, it's sort of an awkward bottle, but it, it, it is, at the same time, it's pretty cool. The name, I don't love the name Derek. Like, why does it have a person's name to it? You know, it's like, hey, what are you wearing? Derek. That sounds weird. So it's gonna lose some points for that, but overall seven and a half out of 10 for the presentation. As far as performance goes, great performance. Eight, out, eight hours, eight out of 10, easy to rate that. So eight out of 10 for performance. And the scent, absolutely think it's awesome. For a 70s fragrance, that was uh, at, at the time inexpensive or you know, for a while, um, nine out of 10 for, for what it is price point to how it smells. And, you know, again, get compliments on if my girlfriend likes the scent a lot too. So that's, that's, that's special. It's important, especially since it's an older classic that, you know, no one's really going to be wearing. So nine out of 10 for the scent, going to bring the overall rating from me to an eight out of 10 for Derek by Orlane. All right, guys, that's going to wrap it up for me for my review of the 1978 release from the house of Orlane. And that again is Derek. So let me know in the comment section, have you ever heard of this fragrance? Have you ever tried it? 
Have you ever tried anything from the House of Orlean? Because this is the only thing that I've tried. Please let me know in the comments section down below what you think, what you thought of the review. I always appreciate all the interaction in the comments. It's, it's a lot of fun for me. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't done so already. Make sure to check out the Instagram page and definitely check out the Mercari page, see what I have listed. Um, again, if there's something that you're looking for that's not listed, just shoot me a message. Maybe I have it. Maybe I'm willing to part with it if I really don't think I'm going to be wearing it anytime soon. Um, I wanted to thank you all so much for watching and hanging out with me today, and I will see you all in the next video. Take care.